Hey love bugs, it's Ronald back at you one more again for another video. I hope everybody is doing blessed and highly favored. I know I am and hope the same for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm going to upload my next video and if you feel free and comfortable go ahead and drop a comment or two i love to get the positive feedback on your experience on being a hayoka or any kind of other spiritual characteristics that you might want to um you have, you have experienced that you want to share it'll greatly be appreciated i'll try to go ahead and, and reply as best as i can to every every comment i get and if you feel like you resonate please give me a big thumbs up share it be appreciated. And for my extended family, my older extended family, much love, light, much many blessings to you, and many blessings are yet to come. And thank you for the love and support as always, and namaste. My video today is about Twin Flame 101. Honor your past as a teacher and use your present to be a teacher. And it's like when you honor your past, you have to honor your past. You know, a lot of us say, oh, I wish I'd never been through this. I wish I'd never been through that. But it wouldn't bring you to the things that you're doing now. I mean, I know so many people that that used to do, you know, raw people and, you know, just never did anything that was good until it took something to just smack them into reality. And... It taught them so much, and I see so many different videos. I see so many testimonies. I, I see so many things that just come about, and, and you know, and I'm just like, wow, yes, you have to honor your teacher because your lesson is your blessing. Your lessons are always your blessing. No matter how bad and detrimental they are, they always are your blessing. I don't know what's going on with me. My electronics has been acting up a lot today. And you know with empaths, we, we with our energy being all heightened up like they are, it's, it's been like that for the last few days. It's been, you know, whatever. I don't think it's my phone. I think it's me. I don't know what it is. But it, it's like when you use, use that gift. Because you never know you can help somebody else. There's so many people out here doing things that they shouldn't be doing that either land them in jail or dead. And, you know, and it, it's just a good thing to be learning from all the past mistakes, all the turmoil you went through, all the past trauma you've been through, all the, you know, everything you've been through. It's like, like I look at the things that I used to do. I used to gangbang. I used to do little dumb stuff, you know rob people and, and and do little things that I you know I'm not proud of you know I have no problem with telling people stuff like that but it has made me such a you know I talked like what I was saying about my friend the other day um when I was talking to her she was just like you know you have changed so much you know we used to be rowdy you know be fighting and fussing and stuff like that now I'm all about peace harmony and love and positivity I don't got time for all that drama you know, I got my own life that, you know, that I'm trying to change myself and make it a better, better thing for me and my children. So when you're going through your things, use it as a gift. It's, it's a lesson. Everything that we go through, you think you just graduated from high school, college or whatever, we are still going to school. We're all of our things. We're being tested every day. If you're saying you're strong about this and this and this and that, God's going to put it in the thing just to test to see if you're going to be okay. If you say, oh, if I see this person, I'm not going to be doing this and this and that. I ain't going to say that. And then if God presents that person to you, because I notice a lot of people that has hurt me in the past has been coming up lately. And I mean, I'm just like, and then they're telling me these detrimental things are coming up to them. Not detrimental, but things that karma came back to them and it they reached out to me and you know i'm like oh how's this you're like oh i'm not like that no more and i'm like oh don't laugh that's not funny you know because i had this person that i um i had a crush on since you know elementary school we known each other that long and our parents knew each other and stuff like that and he was my crush and he used that as a weakness and when i found out i had cancer he up and left me and then now he finds out that Prince is my dad. Now all of a sudden, you know, 
I guess now he's like, dang, I messed up. Yeah, you did. You know, when people tend to do things to other people, you never know. I always say you never, don't ever burn bridges. Cause you never know when you might have to cross it again. Don't ever put down somebody because the people you meet at the, at the, you know, at the top and the ones that you treat down at the bottom, you're eventually going to meet them again. And you never know. I, I'm that type of person who's like, I could have said I told you so. I could have said a lot of negative things. Could have been nasty. Could have laughed. You know, tickled a little bit in the inside. But I was just like, you know what? I ain't going to do that. You know, but things have a funny way of coming back to you. Especially when you know people have done you wrong. That's when you know your blessings are coming. You know, people do you wrong. I forgive people. You know, people I thought were my, you know, tight friends and stuff like that. I might feed them with a long handle spoon. Might say hey and bye. You know, if they're going through things, I might say something. But I'll never sit up here and laugh at the situation because you know what you've done. You know what I'm saying? You, if you know I've been a good friend to you and you purposely go out your way to do something either because of jealousy or you want to have competition and especially when you wish bad on people and pray for you know a lot of people pray for my downfall pray that i don't never come out my story don't come out i never reunite with my family but that's okay but i know there's a lot of people that's doing that that karma coming back and i have and it's, it's a thing that god's blessing me to see that so use the things that you go through as a teacher to be able to teach others you never know you get your blessings that way you earn you, you earn your whatever religion you you go by you know you earn your spot you know that's what light workers do that's what you know we're here to be doing things like that i feel like michael landon sometimes from highway to heaven that's letting you know i'm telling my age if you remember that song that that showed highway to heaven with his friend i forgot the guy, other guy with them um that was in a uh, little house on the prairie basically angels you know helping fix people so they can earn their way back to heaven because they were ready to go so it's just like you know we're, we're dealing with so much ugliness in the world and we need to correct that and we need to be a teacher amongst that because you never know what story can impact somebody and i say that a lot but I'm not trying to hold y'all up. I just went ahead and made some videos because I felt so bad for slacking for two days. And then my video messed up yesterday. I'm just like, you know, I got to get correct. I, can, I can't be doing all that. So much love to you. I will keep you, in your, your, keep you in my prayers and hope you do the same thing. Like and subscribe. Drop me a couple of comments. I love to get the positive feedback from my new family. And all these comments are, you know, really touching my heart that you're, you know, you're opening up yourself to me. And you keep pushing. You keep thriving. Don't ever give up on your dreams. You never know. Your blessing is right around the corner. Do not give up. And kindness goes a long way. And I'll talk to you later. Peace and be wild. Oh!